So today we're going to do a Gemma review, which means it's a dog product. And we're going to do it over her Neater Feeder Deluxe Food Bowl. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we slid inside where it's just a little cooler. And this is it. This is the Neater Feeder Deluxe, Gemma's favorite hangout spot. And this is the large size. They do come in small and medium, which we will cover some of that information later in the video. I ordered this particular one online. <clears throat> it came shipped to us all in one box. Everything you see here is included. So it came with all the different pieces and the two stainless steel bowls. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll share with you some of our favorite parts about the Neater Feeder Deluxe. So Gemma, you can help. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with the outside of it. Okay, so it comes in three pieces. It comes in your bottom part, your top part, and then of course your bowls that sit inside there. Um, as you can see, this one is slightly elevated, meaning that it raises the dog's bowls just a little bit off of the actual floor. Now, I know there's pros and cons to that. I've read the articles, I've talked to the vet, and um, it just boils down to a personal choice, whether you want your dog's bowls to be elevated or you don't mind them sitting flat on the floor. We opted to um, elevate Gemma's food bowls just slightly. You do have the option of raising this even higher. Um, they offer leg extensions, which you need to purchase separately. Um, there are four in a pack for $9.99. And on the large kneader feeder, such as this one, it will raise your bowls about 11 inches. On the small, about 4 inches. So we'll have a, a link and a little bit more information at the end of the video in case you're interested in doing those leg extensions. And they just basically pop on here and raise the whole unit up. We're going to start at the top and work our way down on some of our favorite parts of the Needle Feeder Deluxe. Okay, as you see, it comes with your two stainless steel bowls. Stainless steel, easy to clean, easy to maintain. Throw them in the sink, a little soap, a little water, dry them, and you're set to go. They also are sturdy. I know some of you may have puppies or dogs that like to play with their food bowls and their water bowls. Um, you may consider stainless steel versus, say, plastic or rubber. Uh, stainless steel probably will withstand a little more abuse than the others. Um, one cool thing about this is these bowls sit down in these little inserts. So like Gemma, when she gets crazy playing with her buddy Mooch, or we accidentally walk by the back door where this usually sits, and it accidentally gets kicked, it doesn't spill. These bowls just don't dump over because they're in those inserts. So that's kind of cool. Saves on the cleanup. Okay, one of our favorite things is these holes. This is my little catch-all area. And whether your dog is drinking or eating, it doesn't matter. If it can fit in those holes, it falls through and it catches here in the bottom, which we'll show you here in just a moment. Um, if it's too top to fit, too big to fit through these holes, um, basically you can take a paper towel and wipe that clean. Um, or if you need to just dismantle it and take it over to the faucet and run water through it and get it a little bit cleaner, that's also an option. But you're going to love these little holes in this little catch-all area. I'm going to tell you why. If your dog is like our Gemma, she drinks a lot. She drinks a lot, but she also drips a lot. She continuously is dripping water out of her mouth. Uh, when she's drinking, that water falls into these holes and it catches. And I'm going to show you this one of the most awesome things about this new feeder. Okay, so let me just show you real quick. One-handed, so you can see how light it is. I just set that off to the side. You can take the bowls out or leave them in. It doesn't matter. I usually just leave them in. And here's the bottom part of your Neater Feeder Deluxe. Now, this is just from today. And you can see, get out. Jim's going to show you. That's all the water that she drips. And it caught in here. So about once a week, we have to take it apart, dump the water, and put it back together. And as you see, it just slides right back down on there. I usually shake it to make sure it's locked in. Now, if your dog is a bigger water dripper than our Gemma, you may have to do it a little more frequently. But here's another good point. If it gets full in there and you forget about it, which 
sometimes we do. I'm not going to lie. These little bowls, you'll see them kind of um, floating. You know that you've let it go too long and it's time to clean that out. So that is an awesome thing, don't you think? I, I was so excited about that because it was like, wow, that water is water that did not end up on my floor, which I find to be truly awesome. So that is one of the best things about the Neater Feeder Deluxe, in my opinion. So we got to put all back together here and um, let's go ahead and show you about the food. Okay, so here is our cup of food. As you can see, it's dumped that in the bowl. And there's Gemma. But as you can see, that um, leaves plenty of room for more than a cup of food. So if you do feed your dog more than that, um, you have a pretty good chance that it's gonna hold it. The other thing is the water bowl. And I've never actually measured it totally, but we usually just refill it out of this. And as you can see, Gemma does that a lot. That's part of the reason the bottom gets filled up so much. And just fill that up with water and she's good to go. So we're pretty well done with the review part of the actual meter feeder. But I do have a few pieces of information I wanna share with you while she's getting a little treat and getting to eat. I think Gemma likes these video reviews. The color of Gemma's Native Feeder is bronze. Okay, it's not my favorite color, not one I would have picked. However, that particular Native Feeder in bronze was $35.99. Now, it comes in five other color options. Camo green, cappuccino, cranberry, gunmundel gray, and midnight black. And if you choose to have one of those colors, um, it's going to raise your price about $15, so you're going to pay $49.99. We opted to just go with the bronze color, but that's a personal choice. Just know that you'll have to pay a little extra for those other colors. Um, also, I had told you at the beginning it comes in small and medium sizes, so you can purchase the small for $21.86. Now that obviously is in the bronze. If you choose another color, it's going to jump up to $34.99. And the medium is $27.98 in bronze or $49.99 in the other colors. Another cool thing is um, the replacement bowls. If you need to replace those stainless steel bowls, they offer them for $16.99. Now, please note that uh, those were the prices when we actually did this video. So, you know how it is. Prices may change. So... Okay, uh, that about wraps up our video review of the Neater Feeder Deluxe. The only thing left to do is find out what Gemma thinks about a Neater Feeder. And it's a pause up. So hey, Mooch, Mooch, listen, they also have the Neater Feeder for cats. So if you're a cat owner, you might want to check that out. All right, well, that about wraps it up. We invite you to go to www.let's pause.net which is our new pet blog we're a new one we're growing so we appreciate it if you share it with your family and friends also if you get on there and you see any type of um, pet product that you'd like to look further into we'd appreciate you using our link it doesn't cost you anything you just shop like you normally do only through the let's pause link and as an affiliate we may earn a small commission in hopes that we grow up big enough that we can start giving back and we'll give you a little bit more information in the future about that. Also, go to our Facebook page, Mitch and Gemma, let's pause. They'd love to see you. And if you feel like it and you want to, go ahead and share your cat and dog pictures with us or any other pet you may have. We'd love to see them, we'd love to post them, we'd love to share them. All right, well, y'all have a great weekend and God bless.